Consider this problem. What is the limit as x approaches e of the expression ln x minus 1 over x minus e? How can we evaluate this logarithmic limit? Well, we can try direct substitution. We can replace x with e. So we're going to have ln e minus 1 divided by e minus e. The natural log of e is 1. And so 1 minus 1 is 0. e minus e is also 0. So this is indeterminate. This is not going to work. Now we could try using L'Hopital's rule to see if we can get the answer since we have an indeterminate form. And here's the gist of L'Hopital's rule. Let's say if we want to evaluate the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x. This is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. So if we were to take the derivative of the top and the bottom, we would get the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. The derivative of negative 1 is 0. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of e is a constant. That's 0. So this becomes 1 over x. Well, technically, the limit as x approaches e of 1 over x. So the final answer for this problem is 1 over e, because at this point, we could use direct substitution. So that's how we can evaluate uh, this particular limit. Now, we can check our answer just to make sure that it is indeed the right answer. So this entire answer is 1 over e. Let's get the decimal value of that. One over e is equal to point three six seven eight seven nine four four one two. Now e is a number as well. E is equal to two point seven one eight two eight one eight two eight and the pattern continues. We're gonna plug in an x value that is close to e. As x continues to approach e, if we get this number, then we know our answer is correct. So let's start with 2.7. If x is 2.7, what is the value of that expression? So ln 2.7 minus 1 divided by 2.7 minus e. If you plug this in, you should get... Point three six nine one two two one zero four two. So it's not too far away from this value, but let's pick a, a number that's even closer. Let's try two point seven one eight. So if we plug in ln two point seven one eight minus one over two point seven one eight minus e. So this becomes 0 0.367898532. So this is even closer to the actual answer. And we can try one more. Let's try 2 .7 .8 .2 .8. So I got 0 0.367879 And that's close enough. I mean, we have the first six digits correct after the decimal, which I think is pretty good. But that's how you can evaluate this particular limit. The best thing to do, the most efficient way, is to use L'Hopital's rule because we have an indeterminate form 
0 over 0. So if you have this indeterminate form or infinity over infinity, you could use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.